So, Pablo, we're here a few days before the opening of the exhibition. Um, in what is going to be your installation. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, well, as you can see, we're still uh, like uh, finishing the last uh, touches. Mm -hmm. um, this is a work that uh, has been uh, conceived uh, specifically for, mm -hmm. for this space. Um, it's uh, it's a bit of a response to to this actual uh, room, mm -hmm. and uh, the idea is to build the idea behind the work is to build a space uh, perceptually rather than uh, than physically. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I start again. So the the idea of this work is to to build the space uh, perceptually rather than physically. Try to. Um, to put the visitor, the perceived in a position where uh, the, mm, the the image of the space he or she is in uh, is not very clear. Mm -hmm. No, it takes some time to unfold what what is the room, where are the different uh, elements, or what's the relationship. Mm -hmm. No, um, mm -hmm. what's the what's the title of the installation? The title is Reflex, yeah. with a hyphen in between, mm -hmm. and it. Um, it sort of alludes to the to the two Latin roots mm. uh, that are used for words as reflex or reflect, reflection, mm -hmm. reflection with X. So um, it's it's talking about different. I, I notice that the the two roots uh, uh, means like uh, like uh, folding back, yeah. bending back. Yeah. And I thought they were quite uh, acute for the for the okay. for the piece for the series. Also, I, I conceive these uh, as a first work that could be developed in other ways. Mm -hmm. And I think it it was quite uh, interesting because of uh, of this this uh, notion of folding space. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I mean it's it's specifically talks about I a reflected image, how yeah. li uh, light gets reflected into mm -hmm. surfaces, which is something I'm using extensively in this yes. work. Uh, it talks about uh, folding uh, folding space 180 degrees. It talks about the uh, geometrical yeah. uh, symmetries of of a space. So there were uh, uh, like several issues that were uh, that were inserted in the meaning of these roots that they were quite ac quite accurate for mm -hmm. the for mm. talking about things that were in my mind where I thought about the piece so uh, yeah, yeah it was quite uh, interesting this Coincidences. Yeah, how do you see a piece like this working within mind to system find the gap? Um. I think this piece is um, is working within several levels or several systems, different mm -hmm. systems. One would be like the the first one would be like the architectural system, how the the piece subverts the hierarchy of the different elements. In the uh, different elements of the space, you of mean the, the space of the architectural of space. physical space. Mm -hmm. No, you have a room with mm. walls, floor, ceiling. Mm. Uh, in in this case, for this room, I specifically the piece is focused on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. It's a it's it's a quite uh, traditional uh, white cube, mm. but with a very specific uh, architectural element that is mm -hmm. the ceiling. That it's. Uh, it's a uh, ceiling that it's translucent is conceived uh, as as a way of uh, letting enter uh, natural light mm. but also diffusing it and it it's conceived also as a sort of uh, in a way that it works the same at daylight yeah. th uh, and nighttime also no? the light is always coming from the same place mm. and it's a, it's a ceiling that i have seen in in a lot of museums uh, around Europe and in the mm. States, copying a certain kind of European mm. museum. Um, mm. So when I first saw the room, I was focused. I, I thought that the element to focus was the ceiling, mm. and then I started to uh, to uh, to change the the reference of the ceiling and start uh, uh, you know unfold the ceiling and making mm. it into the floor. And well, this this kind of 
spatial distortions mm -hmm. that are happening in the piece. So uh, you mentioned the architectural system to uh, play with in the second system. Yeah, there will be another system that, that it's the exhibition uh, system or the art uh, related the museum exhibition system, which is how the piece, instead of working with, uh, with contained objects, with mm -hmm. exhibited objects and uh, the relationship of the visitor, how the visitor engages with mm -hmm. these objects inside the container, I'm uh, focusing on the on the container, no? Mm, uh, yeah. So on the space that uh, contains the exhibition. So in in this sense, the the this space gets sort of objectualized, and mm -hmm. the focus goes to to the relationship of the visitor with the container, no? Yeah. It's also architecturally related, but I think it's related in a different way, like mm -hmm. how exhibitions uh, are usually arranged. Even if they are idea-based and conceptually based, most of the concepts uh, usually are, uh, are um, expressed through mm -hmm. objects. No? Mm -hmm. And so in this sense, it's, always, it's also like uh, doing it the Reversing other way around and, yeah. and focusing on the container okay. rather than the, the, the inside of the container. Okay, perfect. And the rest people have to just experience when they're here. Exactly. That's 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 very for this kind of pieces it's it's uh, important because the I usually like like to say that these works are not finished until they are perceived mm -hmm. in the sense that they are mostly generating space inside the viewer's uh, mind, mind yeah. rather than building something that should be perceived in a precise way. It's building something that can be perceived in multiple ways depending on, on the person who is, who is mm -hmm. watching. No? So in this case, for me, the, the visitor, it's like key, no? it's like yeah. very important. Great, thank you very much. You're welcome.